welcome back to Good Knit Kisses. Again, I'm Kristen, and this is part two of Making a Hat, brought to you by AllFreeKnitting.com. And we are going to finish working on this project here. I've got two strands of contrasting colors, a pink and a white, very fuzzy and friendly. It's going to be a baby hat, but you can do this on any loom. We're going to continue a few more rows in this color choice, and then we're going to uh, switch out, and we're going to cut off the pink uh, and add a white. So let's just wrap on a few more rows. We're going in the E-wrap method here. This is the twisted knit stitch or stocking knit. And we're going to twist around the back and go around again, making an E in the inside and keep going. So what I want to do is add on another color and I'm going to put two whites in and then stop using this pink for uh, a few rows. So right now what I'm going to do is um, cut this um, pink off and grab my ball of white that I'm going to use. So what I want to do in this case is um, I'm going to uh, tie it on. I'm just going to tie it up here close to the peg. making a knot. So I've tied this on and I can end up uh, cutting this off here in a little while um, after we're done. But for now I'm going to take this and wrap it up in my work and I've got these two strands going here. We're going to wrap on our second row. So we've got um, <clears throat> we've got these white uh, rows on here that are looking pretty significant. Uh, let's go ahead and start adding in a pink again. I'm going to do a different color change here to show you uh, a different method. So I'm going to take my new color and wrap it around my finger and take the back over the front and then do it one more time. So we're going to do a slip knot approach. We're going to take it and put it on our starting peg, tighten it up and put it on. Uh, don't put it too tight or else uh, it's going to be really hard to knit over. And I'm going to kind of do something a little bit different this round. What I want to do is I've tied on this new tail here. I've put it on a slip knot. And then I'm going to go ahead and wrap all three together. And, and I'm doing this on purpose because I want to kind of fade in the pink. And um, so I'm going to go one more round and it's three colors, but really it's two whites and a pink. So it's going to have, um, it's going to fade it in a little bit slower because it's going to seem like more white. Lock that in. Go ahead and knit over. So now what I want to do is I've done one row this way. Um, I'm going to cut off the um, the extra white. I'll cut off the extra white, and I'm just going to go ahead and wind this in here. Okay, so I'm doing this next row with the pink and white and this next row with the pink and white together just one strand of each I'm going to add in white again but I'm actually not going to cut uh, any um, I cut this pink off I'm going to let it hang on the inside of the loom so I'm going to tie this white onto the pink and so I'm going to give it a little bit of room so that this knot is going to be in the back so I'm going to go around it twice 
and then go around this. slide it a little bit and then get it tight tight as I can and then now I'm going to wrap this around and let the pink we're gonna let this pink kind of fall over here for a moment take my two strands together and wrap them around and so my knot is gonna hide right behind this peg here knots right there and go ahead and take this extra straggler and wrap them in wrap wrap them in there I'm gonna go around I'm gonna knit over okay on the inside of your work you see that you've got your pink just kind of hanging out and waiting to be used again so now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to wrap it back in the top of our work and uh, and then that way we're going to get that sort of look I was talking about earlier with having it um, kind of a blended of extra color one color with the two whites and we're just going to use this until the end over here and then we're gonna go until it's time to start decreasing so I have a um, little six inch ruler that I use <laughs> and I go till I'm about five and a half inches on, on this this is for a baby hat uh, so I've got it about five and a half inches. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start decreasing and please join me for the next tutorial on decreasing and finishing off the crown the top of this hat thank you for joining us at good knit kisses again with my friends at all happy looming